Well, how do that, chums? As you can see, I'm loading into No Man's Sky to hit on up phase two of this expedition. Let's jump on over into game and hopefully we'll be appearing at the Colossal Archive where we left off in episode one. If you've missed episode one, I put a link in the top corner. Why am I moving? <laughs> I saved in my ship. I didn't save taking off. Budge and hack. Land. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> this game sometimes, people. What the fudge? Okay, radio. Well, let's jump on out of the ship and let's take a quick look at the badges for part two of this expedition. So we've already got a reward to claim in part two. So there we go. Deep freeze. Hold on. What? Um. One, one second. I haven't been on an extremely cold planet. Uh, what? <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know how that happened. I have not been to an extremely cold planet yet, people. So, yeah, we've got to reach Rendezvous 2, but we've also got a few other bits and bobs going on there. So, yeah, so we've got to get, we've got to get some uh, storm crystals. Nice. Record a creature with blood pressure under 2.5. What the... Okay. Build a wonders projector. Okay, well, we can go back to my base and do that, I suppose. And excavate an ancient dig site. Ooh, okay. All right, fine. Okay, well, I wonder if this has got any sort of... Um... Oh, hold on. It tells me how to do that. Discover a creature with a blood pressure of pH lower than 2.5. No... Oh, great. No, it just bloody disappeared on me. Dang it! Okay, log. Okay, here we go. Use the analysis biaser to locate discover creatures. Suitable creatures are likely to be found on a planet with a toxic atmosphere. So we need to go to a load of toxic planets to find one of those. All right, fine. OK, well, I'm not on a toxic planet right now, so I don't think that overly matters. So let's go back to the expedition and let's see what else we can do. So, yeah, we'll probably do that. Actually, dig site. All right, well, let's have a look, see if there's any planets in this system that contain ancient bones, shall we? So let's have a look. Ancient bones? No. Ancient bones? No. Ancient bones? No. Ancient bones? No. No! Dang it! I bet there was in the initial starting system where I first started off, isn't there? What about the system... Ancient bones! Where my base is? So I could teleport back to my base. We could put down the hollow projector back there, and we could jump back to this station inside of this system, which I don't think would be too much of a problem, would it? But you know what? Since I'm here, I might as well start scanning some of the creatures that we can find frequenting this lovely world. Boom! Yes, I found the coated yins. Yes, let's head on over yonder hill. Yeah, so you know what? I'll scan some creatures here, people, before we jump back. But I'll be going up to the station, teleporting back to my base, and then we'll come back to this planet a bit later. I'll see you in a mo. Okay, chums, well, I've done a bit of scanning, not a great deal, to be honest. But yes, we will go on up to the station, and then we're going to use the teleporter to go back to my base. And then from my base, I'm going to build one of those lovely hollow projectors, and then I'll be coming back here fairly soon. So here we go. Let's jump on up. Let's fly on up to the spa station, shall we, people? Thank okay. you. Lovely. Take them up to the skies. Ah. We can always take a look, see why we're there, to see if there's any better scanning modules, because at the moment, still not hitting the beefy amounts when I'm scanning a creature. All right, I'll see you in the station. Okay, jumps when I'm up inside of the station. Oh, this is a Viking system. Lovely, I can learn some words while I'm up here then. So I'm going to expand my exosuit. Oh, looks like I've got some more technologies I have yet to install. We can get with that little cargo rocket, lovely. And we've got a couple of these to install as well, so we might as well do that while we're here. Let's up the technology of the ship. Yes, upgrade ship. Sweet. Apply augmentation. And yeah, might as well stick it there. Boom. Done. And I think I can do the same with my Mortito. So we might as well go do that. Sweet. Coolio. Install the gate. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I can go there. Freaking lovely. Hello, chap. Have you got any scanner modules? Scanner modules. Nope. Always oh, got to be. And I've got I've got a couple of thousand nanites now. We'd have that one. Thank you very much. All right. Well, let's get that installed. We'll put that there. Pow. 
It's broken the technology, so we'll get rid of one of the C classy ones. And we'll move that there. Chicka pow pow, chicka bum bum. Lovely jubbly. All right. Oh, that's given us a little bit. Ooh, fauna analysis. It has given us a bit of a boost. Lovely jubbly. Awesome. Right. So I'm just going to run around here. We're going to grab all these because they're going to give me either free nanites or they're going to give me some navigational data, which always comes in handy when you're looking for something towards the end of these expeditions. So heck yes, navigational data not to be snipped at. Spin a chair. Come on, pick that up. Lovely. Any of that? No, won't have this one. There's also some little black flat disks sometimes, which are quite easily missed. We'll have that one. Sweet. Now I'm going to go chat up some Vikings over on this mezzanine over here. I don't know whether they, we have to learn Viking words. I'm not seeing a badge for it, or if I have, I've gone over it a couple of times. Hello there, chap. Yes. Request dialect help. I would like to learn a technology word. Thank you. Well, well I'm going to carry on talking to these guys. This is going to take me a little while. I don't want to bore you to death. So I'll see you when I go over to a teleporter or pop a badge for this. Boom! There is one! Yes, I've learned seven Viking words, and that popped the badge at seven. Seven was the magic number. Hey, girls. Okay, well, in my personal records at the moment, I haven't actually put anything in there. So maybe what I need to do is go on over to my wonders and treasures and all that sort of shenanigans. Let's have a quick look, see. So let's pin a couple of these, shall we, people? So which one looks quite nice? I quite like that one. Yeah, so let's hit that. Okay, um, I wanted to pin it. That's what I want. Fudge in the hack! This wonders catalogue is, is a little bit tedious, isn't it? Right, so there we go. I want to pin that one. Okay, I don't want to view it. I want to pin the dang thing into my personal records. All right, okay, well, that's a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. View discovery. Oh, I like this guy. He's cool, isn't he? Can I pin him? I want to pin him on my main... Okay, fudge and heck. Maybe I'm doing it around the wrong way. Let's go back to discoveries. Yeah. Personal records. All right, I want something into here. How do I add something into there? Okay, well, this isn't working out for me, is it? It's not working out at all. All right, let's go into discovery. Let's see if we can do it through this then. Add to wonders. Oh my days, you've got to do it this way, have you? Okay, that's a, that's a fun task, isn't it? It's a shame you can't do it from the other records because it's a lot easier to spot everything in there, isn't it? All right, um, well, you can add that to wonders too. All right, fine. Uh, I, I quite like this one. Let's add that to my wonders if I can. No, I can't. I haven't actually landed on that one then. Okay, add to wonders, L3. There you go, added to wonders. Yes, um, and I'm not really, I don't really care. Green ringed. There we are. I'm adding these to wonders because we're going to be putting them into a holographic projector at some stage, people. So I guess if you do, actually, if you go into here, come out of there for a second. Let's go into here. Let's go into the wonders catalogue. Where are you again? Oh, for fudge sake. This is, this is, this is really, really tedious. Okay, fine. Anyway, let's pop that bloody badge. Let's just get that. Boom, dundly and done. We got our table parts. You know what? I said I was going to just go back to my base. Let's just go back to my base. We'll work it out when we actually get a hollow projector blinking built, people. I, don't, I might not even have the parts. Okay, let's jump on down to there then. I'll see you at my base. Well, here you are. I'm back at home. Lovely jubbly. Let's head on into here, into my open plan living space. Let's see if we can build one of those hollow projectory things. Then I'm not too sure what even menu it sits in, because you know, it's the first time I've had to put in one of these. So where the fudge is it when it's at home, then? Is inside of that? I can't bloody see the dang thing. All right, well, let's select the mission, then. Oh, fudge and heck. Don't say I've had to go to the Nexus to pick it up or something. Build a Wonders projector. Okay, fine. Oh, look, you have to get the... Freaking storm crystals first! Awesome biscuits! Alright, well, you know, we're here anyway, so we might as well dig up that excavation site, mightn't we? Okay, well, let's go find the dig site for that then. Okay, there's one right there. We we'll go do that so it wasn't a wasted journey, people. Oh, look, I haven't scanned you. I'll scan you right now. Chicka pow! Gotcha! Any others worth scanning? Oh, okay, there's one over there. Come out from behind the wing of my ship. There you go, let's scan him. Chicka pow! 
wonder if I've got enough to... I, I was hoping it would pop that badge, because my scanner is pretty darn sweet now. But then again, my multi-tool is only like a C-class multi-tool. I might have to up the classage of my multi-tool before it starts giving me massive moolah. Which, you know, I might have to go and find a multi-tool at some point. A better multi-tool than the multi-tool I've got, people. Because to upgrade its class costs a heck of a lot of nanites, it really does. It's just so much easier just to go find an S-class multi-tool. Well, yeah, you can get those off the old coordinate exchange. Right, well, I've arrived at Kated here. Let's get um, the terrain manipulator locked in. Let's go dig up this site and let's, um, let's go and unearth one of these bones then. Okay. All right. So is this it? Cool. I've got it. All the glitters. Excavated an archaeological wonder. Hook yours. Now, that was easy enough what it was going to be, people. All right, boom. We got that one. Sweet. Atlas Pass set. Heck yes. Pre-packaged optical drill unit. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, let's go grab that thingy. There we are. Install a Mondo. I want to install that right there. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Lovely. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, well, and now I can head on back to the station where I was. So, you know what? I'm probably just going to fly up to the station in this system. And then from there, I'm going to be heading back over to the system that we was just in, back to the station. And then we've got to explore the planets there. And we know that we've got to visit a toxic planet because we're more likely to get the high pH blood sort of specimen there. So yeah, I'll see you back over in Rendezvous 1. Right, so it should be the previous system that I was in, which would be where I need to go. So let's go. Heck yes, pow. Okay, so now I've warped away and come back again. That vendor should have another one of those B-class scanner modules. So I might as well go and get that one installed. Oh gosh, let's go. Um, let's go and see this vendor. Hello there, Mr. Vendor. Oh, what is your multi-tool anyway? Let's have a quick butcher's, I'd say. Oh, it's a C-class as well. All right, fine. Hello there, mate. Cool, yeah. Yes, purchase module, and I would like another scanner module, please. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And let's go and install okay, that. Boom. Stick that there. It's going to break the tech. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's flora analysis. This one's going to give me flora and mineral. So it still doesn't boost my actual um, fauna analysis like that one does. That one does fauna analysis, and it's been super boosted. So let's just buy another one off this guy because really I, I want to get one that's got flora a fauna in it. So let's, let's oh I, I, he won't sell me another one now. He's sold out. Fine. Okay, cool. I mean you can jump in your ship out of your ship and do a reload and you can keep re-rolling these. But you know what? We'll press on. Hopefully we'll come across an S class one, which would be freaking mentals. All right. Well, I'm just going to jump out of my ship to create a save anyway. So inside of this system, is there any planets that are toxic? Let's have a quick look at look see. So we've got that one there, terraforming catastrophe. That's not. That's Star Bramble. Frost Crystal, that's that's where I would have thought we would have got the deep cold from, but you know, don't need to go there then. Windswept cactus flesh, magnetized ferrite. Is there any activated? Activated is what I'm looking for. No. Paraffinium, no. So I don't think there's any planets that I really need to touch boots on the ground there. But we might need to. That's the problem with this mission. Anyhow, I'm going to recharge my hyperdrive. Oh, it's already fairly charged. You know what? Let's just press on then. Let's just go to Rendezvous 2, I guess. So let's go to the old expeditions log. We're going to the second Rendezvous. And let's hope there's a little bit more to do with the storm crystals there. All right, and hopefully we're, we can just move on with the missions. We might have to come back and visit a few places like we just did for the Ancient Bones. That's not a problem. In fact, we probably would have found an Ancient Bones blinking place just going on with the story quest line. It would be nice if I could get some better warp modules, which I could have checked with the vendors, couldn't I, to be fair? I'll tell you what, we'll jump to this next system, and I'll check the vendor inside of the station. I'm going to go in station anyway to upgrade my exosuit. Okay, chums, well, I'm back in the space station. I've already checked the galaxy map in this area. Well, not the galaxy map, you know, the system map, the discoveries map. And there's no sort of toxic planets here, peeps. So I'm going to expand there. Lovely jubbly. I guess head on over this way. Let's see if they've got any warp drive modules. That'd be nice. 
Have you got any warp drive modules? An S-Class variant would be freaking great. No, you haven't. And I'm not going to spend money on, on a green one there. Let's go and chat to this guy. Have you got any scanner modules in the S-Class of variety, my friend? Yes. Yes, he does. Sweet. Okay, cool. Right, well, let's, let's get that installed then. That's going to be freaking awesome. That's going to rock the joint. Stick that there. Chicka boom. And this one is the one that's got pretty awesome stats. That one hasn't. So we'll get rid of that one. And that one does scan radius and fauna. Okay, let's move that one out of there for a second. Let's put that one in the super boosted area. Chicka boom. That made a massive difference. Right, let's just run down. Let's jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. I'm going to do an auto reload here, people, because this system is pretty darn freaking gnarly for the S-Class mo uh, modules. So if you want to know what planet this is, it's in this system. Well, it's just this system, this system here. So yeah, lovely core. Cool. All right, let's uh, jump in my ship, out of my ship. Reload my save, and hopefully the vendor should have another one of those S-Class modules. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go and get another one of those S-Class modules for my multi tool. Yeah, I know I've wasted a couple of nanites on the old blue ones. But yeah, I suppose I could have unpackaged them. Oh yeah, let's, let's try that. So let's just see if I can do that. So let's store technology. I don't think you get many nanites for this anyway when you do that. Let's just do that anyway. Rather than just deconstruct it, at least I'm going to get something, I suppose. Purchase, and I want to purchase a cake, that one. Chicka boom. Now let's install that one. Hold on, why have I got two of them? Oh, maybe I haven't. Cool, there we go, that's in. We've also got an A-class one there, that's pretty good. That's going to give us fauna analysis anyways. Sweet. Okie dokie. And then, let's see if I can sell that B-class one back to him. Just so I get a couple. There we go. And sell. Yes, I can sell it. I'm going to get 400. Oh, OK. Oh, no, there, there it is there. I'm only going to get 16 nanites for it. Bloody hell. OK, all right, fine. It, yeah, it's saying that I've got another S-Class one there. All right, well, I don't know how I managed that. But OK, we're going to go and install that then. We we'll install that there. That's going to break the tech. Let's unpackage this one then. Store technology into here. Chica pal. That's a better way of doing it, people, isn't it? And now we're going to ins we're going to go and move that one over into the cluster, and we'll see if that ups my scan. Oh, wow, brilliant! Look at that. That's seven hundred and twenty-six. That should be freaking awesome now. All right. Hopefully, when we scan our next creature, that's going to make us a millionaire. Brilliant! And pop another badge. Sweet. Okay. So, is there any planets inside of this system then that I want to go and visit? Let's have a look. See. Are you toxic? No. Incandescent planet. Solarium, nope. Cactus flesh. Cactus flesh. And I'm not seeing any we've activated as yet, people. Hmm. Okay. Alright, fine. It says this isn't the this isn't the right system, is it? I wanted to go back to the um Oh, fudge it. oh no, I'm warping, aren't I? I'm warping. So there's no point in visiting any of the planets here. But there we go. Let's carry on to Rendezvous 2. I forgot what I was doing, people. That happens occasionally. All right, let's head on over then. I say occasionally, hardly ever. All right, don't, let's, let's go this way. Meow. Take me to Rendezvous 2. Yeah, we're going to jump there then. All right, same drill. We're going to go in the station. And uh, I'll have a look see if there's an S-Class warp modules in there. Oh, would you look at this, people? I've intercepted some pirate scallywags attacking a vessel. So let's uh, let's shoot these scallywags. Let's teach them a lesson. There you go, scallywag. Boom! You're dead. How'd you like them apples? Okay. Oh God, there's six scallywags to take care of. Okay, you scally. Boom! 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 Yeah, let's fill the raft of my explorer. <laughs> Said the explorer to the fighter. Boom! You're done. I guess you are. And another one. A two in one. I guess. Brilliant. Eh? Don't you tangle with the captain. The captain will freaking have ya. Sweet. Okay. Well, some of these have got shields. Some of them haven't, which is quite good to see. All right. Okay. Well, they, these two have got blinking shields. These two are little roustabouts. Aye. Crashing into me. I'm, I'm, I've got your number, mate. Freaking heck. Get back. Dodge my missiles. 
Yes, how dare you dodge death? All right, come on then. Okay, he's dodging death very rapidly. You freaking get old still so you can bloody die. Got him. All right, cool. There's another one over this way. Let's get this guy. Let's knock his shields out. Hold still. There you go. Rocket to the face. Brilliant, we got him. Okay, well, there's only three remaining now, people. The last three remaining. Meow. And then we can rescue this freighter, and I'm going to be having it, mainly for the extra storage space. Okay, I'm in the sides of the ships of the... I was inside the shields of the uh, freighter then, people. Okay, get back. They just run straight at you now, don't they? The actual AI on these ships, they're all the same. They loop round and come flying straight at you, trying to run you down. Look, get bags. Here he comes. Look, he's going to run straight into me. Look, look, see? And then he goes past, loops round, and then he's going to headbutt me. And he can turn quicker than me for some reason, people. Okay, now I'm destroying the shields of the bloody freighter, which I don't want to be doing because it might register that I've attacked the freighter now. Ah, oh, some biscuits. Ah! Get back! Stop flying through the freighter! How's that fair? Get back. Okay, let's spin this around then. Let's get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, great! My shields are down now, running into me. That's what that does. Okay, let's um, let's recharge my shields then. How many we got left? We've done it! We've freaking done it! Lovely. Let's establish comms. Let's go and grab that free freighter. I don't care on the class. I really don't. I'm not keeping this save, so it's not like I need to re-roll it or anything like that. I mean, you can if you really want to. There's been countless videos of people doing that, including myself in the past. But no, I'm just going to accept the first one it blinking gives me, people. Because um, this is going to be a throwaway save. I'm only running this, so I get all the expedition rewards for my other saves. Pretty much. Let's jump on in, let's go on up, and let's go and speak to the actual uh, Capitani of this um, lovely freighter. I guess. So this is more of a Let's Play guide series. I mean, yes, I know that I'm doing a few cuts and it's not exactly raw footage like it would be if it was a Let's Play. So there is a bit of editing been done inside of my Cyberlink Power Director. Is what I use if you're ever wondering, people. Let's head on over then and let's go and talk to this guy. Hello, mate. How are you? Yes. You got me. I'm, well, yes, I want your freighter. Compare. I have no freighter to compare it to. So I'll be having that. Oh. I have got a freighter already. I started on one, didn't I? So the hyperdrive range in this new one's a little bit better, is it? The current freighter is broken. This one, it's fixed. So yes, I'll be taking the exchange then, mate. Thank you very much. Yes. Transfer items. Yes. Transfer base. Yes. There we go. Done. Thank you very much. Well, that's that's a lot better, isn't it? Just transfer everything over with a couple of button presses. Is that a new addition? I think it might be. All right, well, I haven't done it for long enough, so I have no idea. We we'll head on into the into the actual station, then, people. We'll have a look at what planets frequent this system once we're in the station, and we'll make a decision whether we're going to be staying here a little bit longer or whether we're going to be moving on. I'm going to put boots on the ground inside of the station, mainly just to upgrade my exosuit, but I'm also going to be checking for warp warp drive modules. I want an S-class one for my ship because at the moment it moves like a slug stuck in taffy. Heck yes, it does. Let's head on over here then, and let's fly on in. Sweet. We're flying into the station. There is this one over here, which is a fungal mold planet. Toxic weld, people. There's no activated ones here, so I don't think we've got any chance of getting any storm crystals anytime soon. But we can go to there and see if we can get the... Um, the PH blood badge to pop. But while I'm in here, I'm just going to check the vendor, see if they've got any S-Class hyperdrive modules. And I'm also going to be checking out the, well, I'm going to be expanding my exosuit. So let's jump on out then. Let's go do that. Sweet. Run, dilly, run. I don't know why my um, freighter is telling me about fleet. Oh, yes, I've just exchanged, haven't I? Yeah, of course. Right, here, let's, uh, let's grab this then. Sweet. Yeah, I want an extra space. Lovely. Jubbly. Heading over here, let's go talk to this guy. Hello, mate. Sweet, purchase modules. Have you got hyperdrive? He has in an S as well. Okay, well, that's just cost me 600. I think I can afford another one. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Okay, let's get that one installed, located. Exosuit. Install that one right there Chicka boom i'm gonna go this way actually let's move that out of the way for a second we might as well move that out of the way as well we don't really even need that because i haven't got the phase cannons installed let's go down jump in my ship out of my ship do a reload and we're gonna see if we can do that twice you know there anyway, we jump out made a save do a reload like yours 
Okay, I just bought one more. The only thing is, that's left me with a very few nanites now, people. Well, we got that in, which is pretty darn sweet. So I'm just going to run around the tables and pick up a few of these, hoping that they might give me some navig um, give me some nanites, but they haven't as yet, people. A bit short on nanites. Hopefully, we can upload the discoveries again. There you go, got some nanites there. So if I go to my discoveries page and upload all, okay, boom. Upload all pending discoveries. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was hoping to do, but it won't let me. Maybe I haven't discovered anything since last, which that sucks. All right, well, I haven't got much I can do about that then. And I don't think I've got many that I can sell. I could probably sell that one. Probably sell that one as well, to be honest. And that one. Okay, let's go sell a load and let's see if I can buy that last remaining one. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I'm here. I want, I want to sell some stuff to you. Sell. Sentinel weapon upgrade. I'll sell that. Sell that prepackaged advanced translator. Don't want it. And I'll sell that as well. Yes, I've got 1,400 now. Well, let's uh, jump in my ship, out of my ship, and reload again and get the last hyperdrive one. Hook okay, so that's going to be massive helps for me, people. There we go. Done. And reload. Okay, let's go talk to this chappy. Hello there, chappy. And let's uh, buy that last remaining one. Purchase, Kate. And yes, I want you, the Whirly Mantwelly. Sweet. Let's go stick that in my ship as well, people. Where are you? Where's it gone? I just bought it. There it is. Freaking neck. Couldn't see it for seeing. There you go. And that's my hyperdrive range. Welly right up there, people. Freaking awesome. You know what? Before I go on, I'm going to sell some of the stuff inside of my technologies that I don't overly need. And I've got some weird stuff in here. I mean, what the fudge is that when it's at home? Let's, let's, let's just get rid of those. There we go. I've just got two new things. All right. Well, so we've got that optical drill that can go in there. Lovely. What's this one? Charger unit. OK. Oh, sweet. Landing gear for my ship. I can't install it. I'm going to have to. OK, you know what? Let's get rid of that. We don't really need that. Let's move that over there. Move that there. And if I move that across to there, I should be able to get that into there for now. Chicka pow, chicka boom. There we go. Sweet. Okay, what is it doing in here? Oh, yes. Galactic Trade Terminal. We're going to sell some stuff that I don't need, people. Okay, sell. I uh, will sell. Ooh, do we need it, though? It might have given us it for a blinking reason. Well, I can sell the Mordite. We definitely don't need the Mordite. Um. Carbon nanotubes have been taking up my inventory for a little while. I can always make more if I need more. I sell that bone that I just bought. We've got some emerald there. We keep hold of that just in case I need to make an emerald drive to get to an activated system to get myself the storm crystals. But for now, people, we're heading on down to the planet. That one. I guess we are. Boom. We're going there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that, that's not my ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just shows how much I like my ship when I don't even know which one's mine when it's parked next to another random explorer. I don't really do explorers, people. No, heck no, I don't. Right, I forgot what planet I'm flying to now. So it's not the misty one. Hold on, that's got activated copper on. So that must have storm crystals. Oh, ho, ho. We might have to go there as well. I mean, there's not a storm right now, or else you'll see clouds all over it. Let's head there. Let's head to that base that's there. Let's see what's going on at that base. We're heading on over there because that's the Fungal World. It's got a chance of having a creature with pH leveled blood. I'll see you there, people. OK, just got a new record saying that it was a, a new toxic well that I've discovered. Let's head on to this base and let's have a quick little, little look see at what this base actually has for offer. Might be able to get some free resources. Let's see. I don't normally land at bases, but you know, locked onto it, so why the fudge not? Okay, well, it's took me over to the night side of the planet, though. Okay, well, it's got a load of electricity here. Oh, it's got shed loads of nip nip as well. Oxygen storage. Heck yes, thank you very much. Could do with that. That's probably why you called it CO2 farm. And copper. Brilliant. Freaking awesome. Nice one. That, that was a nice little find. Yeah, I could take all the um, contraband as well, but that means more possibilities of being scanned by system authorities, and I don't really fancy that. Oh, look at all that navigational data just sitting out there in the wild as well. Perfect location, mate. Well done on your base placement. Okay, well, let's get some creatures scanned, shall we? 
Let's hope that we find one with the pH blood levels that we need. Okay. Scan this guy. Scan this guy. Okay, let's see if anything pops. There we go, corrosive blood. Nice one. We found the planet, people, for the corrosive blood creatures. I give you the portal codes, because we've all been given the portal glyphs anyway. So if you do want to come here and come to this planet, there you go. There's the actual codes. Hopefully that's going to give you the creature that you need with the corrosive blood like it just did me. Right, let's head on over. Let's hit that one up. Chicka boom. So, oh, it's giving me the hazmat gauntlets as well. Freaking lovely. Is that pre-packaged? It is pre-packaged technology. All right, let's go on over. Let's get that installed then. So we've got a shield as well that we can put in. Let's put that there. Might as well. Why didn't I get adjacency bonuses? Don't know. Okay, all right, fine. We'll just stick that more we'll together anyway. Okay, and pre-packaged hazmat gauntlets. I'll put them there. Nice. Lovely jobs. Coolios. Right, well, I guess we can head on over to that other planet that we had earlier. Oh, hold on, what's happened there? Okay, because I've got all those S-Class modules in now. It gave me the priceless one. Heck yes! Brilliant! Okay, personal refiner. I could get that installed if I wanted to. But no, I don't really need it. It's all right. Okay, I'd rather have the uh, technology space at the moment for now. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take on off. I guess we can fly on over to that planet that had activated copper inside of its actual tree so let's fly on over there and let's see if it's got storm crystals on it now which one was it activated not that one it was the swamp planet in this system wasn't it let's just fly a little bit further forwards let's spin this around and let's see if we can find activated copper planet you haven't got activated copper by chance have you no okay let's um try this one over here not that one there definitely was one not that one there you go look it's got a storm happening right now oh it's locked onto my freight or it's locked onto the station or something all right increase our pulse drive and i'll see you on that ringed planet in a moment chums right so here we go i'm just entering into the old atmosphere of this planet let's see if we can spot some storm crystals flashing in the storm come on hopefully i haven't come down right above a, a freaking load of sea um which i think i have awesome biscuits okay well that's 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 not good all right well i'm not going to spot any storm crystals right now let's uh let's go over aha uh -huh, hold on there's um a settlement or something here isn't there that's going to be inland let's see if we can do that oh no the storm's clearing now okay let's lock on to one of those settlements because there's a good chance that's going to have land around it rather than water but i think we've missed the window of the storm Let's fly on down. We might have a bit of waiting to do on this planet, but we'll see if there's storm crystals. We should still be able to see them out in the wild. Okay. Righto. Well, I'm not seeing any storm crystals at the moment, but they aren't that easy to see when there's not a storm. Let's touch down next to this then. Oh, there's some storm crystals, and they're, they're alight right now. Come on, jump out of the ship. Let's go, let's go. Let's go grab them storm crystals. Sweet. Oh, can I claim this? I can claim this settlement as mine. Ah, oh, the storm just started clearing, I think. Yeah, look, the storm crystals have gone off. Dang it. All right, well, I'm going to claim this settlement as mine then, people. Let's do that. Let's go do this. Bum, bum, bum. I'm having this. Lovely. Got you. Oh, I can't have it. It's somebody else's already. All right, fine. Well, I can use their shelters until a storm comes in, can't I, I guess? All right, well, I guess we're going to wait until the storm comes. Once the storm comes, I will let you know, people. And uh, we'll reconvene in a bit. I'm just going to hide in here. Hopefully that'll keep me nice and dry for a little while. All right, I keep an eye out for when a storm rolls in, people. Okay, chums, when I moved my ship, I parked it right near to those storm crystals, but I've just seen the clouds starting to cover the sky. Look at that. And it did pop up with a message saying there's a superheated storm incoming. So I'm just waiting for those storm crystals to light up. Any time now. I hope so, anyway. I wasn't wasting your time and mine. Okay, here we go. It looks like the, the actual rain is coming in. Hopefully those storm crystals are going to open up any second. Oh, what the fudge just happened over there? Something just teleported in, didn't it? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, jump out. There you go. Let's go grab them. Let's go grab them. 
Boom. I don't know how many I need. I'm going to grab all of these. Sweet. Heck yes. Any more for any more? I did see some more as I was flying into that. Oh, there's some over there. Let's go grab those ones. Come on, like the wind, Captain Steve. Holy fudge. Um, the, the storm's a little bit nasty, isn't it? Could have just flown in my ship. I've got loads of launch for us to fuel. And I haven't got so many iron batteries is what I'm thinking. But look, am I going to make it? Probably. I hope I am. Hopefully we're going to get them all. Come on. I forgot my movement modules are terrible. I can't do the melee strafe jump. Ah, this is painfully slow. Okay, right. Yeah, I should have flown in my ship, shouldn't I? I should have flown in my ship because I'm, I'm on my last blinking one of them. Okay, and that's going to be drained like super quick. All right, well, maybe I can call my ship to me over here. Fudge and heck. Oh, this is painfully slow. Oh, man. Come on. Run, 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 run. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, let's get these ones. Come on. <laughs> it's like me running in real life. Okay, done. Grab those. We've, we've got them all. We've got them all. We've got them. Pop the badge. Heck yes. Let's call in my ship. Let's jump in my ship before I die. Nice. Bottled lightning has been done, people. And this is in the same system. The same system as where I found that, um, you know, that super PH creature. So here we go. Uh, right. Okay. Let's pop into camera mode. Let me just give you the coordinates once more. There you go. On the screen right there. Hopefully they're easier to read now. Obviously this is slightly different code because it's a different planet. But this planet's got storm crystals and it's a swampy planet. Right there. Let's go pop that badge. Chicka pa. Nice. What we got for that? Pre-packaged advanced mining laser. Sweet. And a personal refiner one. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go get those put in then. Personal refiner, stick that over there. And the next one, where did it put it? In my starship. All right, fine. I'll we'll put that one. Okay, we haven't got room at the moment to put this in. Okay, technology's already installed, actually. So we can sell that one for nanites. All right, well, we can take on off up into the sky. What else have we got to do in this system? Just build that. Oh, we've, we've got it now. We've got the plans. Okay, so I could go to Rendezvous 2 and then teleport from Rendezvous 2 back to then put in my Wonders Projector. Or I could just put down another base. You know, that other base, I'm not rather partial to it, am I? Yeah, we'll do that. All right, let's go to the Galactic Map then. Let's go to the Rendezvous Point. Meow. Rendezvous Point. I should be able to do this in a singular jump now. Yes. Right, well, I've arrived, Kated, in this system. Skig of a minute, whatever that is. Heck yes, that's a hard one to pronounce, the Kate, isn't it? Right, oh, well, where's the rendezvous planet? And let's, uh, where's the rendezvous marker, mate? Uh, log? Expedition? This one? It should be somewhere around here. Where are you, rendezvous marker? There it is. We're heading to rendezvous two. It's a foggy planet that has copper and sodiums. Okay, I'll see you at the rendezvous. Okay, so it's going to probably take me into close proximity. Oh, it flew me straight over the blasted thing. What the fudge? Must have locked onto an invisible base marker or something. Let's fly on down then. And um, I'm going to come in from the angle of this base that's over here. Oh, comms ball just popped up. Did you see that? Okay, so normally comms balls are an indication of where the rendezvous should be. And it's usually the first comms ball that pops, but in this case, perhaps not then. Dang it! It's just a stray comms ball on top of a poxy hill. Okay, well, let's head on over this way then. I doubt that's it. It's probably going to be another colossal archive. So let's have a look around. Let's see if something pops in. Probably won't. Let's just have a little scan around because there's a storm here right now. Mm, okay. Whoa, lots of lightning. Okay. I wonder what that beacon is. How far away is that? 50 seconds. I, I think this could be a red herring. Yeah, it's a red herring. Okay, we'll head back this way then. And you know what? I guess I'm just going to have to do the search on foot unless there's something just here on this com on this comms board. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. There's a base here. Anacons born. All right. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I wasn't really marking it. Oh, look! <laughs> just flying around in circles for a little while. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's just spawned in now, people. Right, well, I want to find a landing pad on this dang thing. 
Landing pad, landing pad. There's a landing, landing pad. Sweet. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Perseverance and waiting for a while for it to render in. There we are. There's probably a lot of bases here now, people, and that's probably why we're getting a few rendering issues. Let's head on over this way. I'm going to be adding a base soon anyway myself. Yeah. Might as well get a base down and then put in one of the projectors while I'm here. Has it popped the rendezvous? I think it has, hasn't it? Um, so there we go. Chicka-boom. Rendezvous gained. Oh, and it's still walking on its own. That's not good. Right. I think I might put them up here into the old technology area. That'd do. Lovely. Multi-tool expansion. Ship storage expansion. Nice. Right, well, normally what I do when I hit these rendezvous planets is start scanning a few creatures and rendezvous systems. I didn't do much of that inside of the last rendezvous, so I might have missed a couple of key creatures. But I think I'm going to scan a couple of creatures here, people. So, I mean, it's daytime right now. And I did scan a few on the last one, which didn't pop anything for the rendezvous planet. Normally rendezvous planets have got the rarest of rare so it's best to scan a few creatures while you're here, people. Scan that guy. Any others? Any others? Is that the only bloody creature that I can see in Stone's Throw? You're having a laugh. Okay. Um, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I would have thought there would have been loads of creatures around here. Ah, well, we'll head this way. and We'll have a little look around and we'll see if anything else comes in. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot more sort of weirdness happening with the sky, like flickering and stuff. Maybe it's because of the amount of bases and things that are here now, but yeah, bit of an oddity that one. Oh, 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 we've got another creature there. Let's scan him. Has that popped anything? Anything happening? There's three of ten creatures, so there's probably a lot more creatures to be had here. I'm going to zap that. Heck yes. Oh, you see that pillar over there, all the dust clouds around it? That's where all the new sort of race would be. But I haven't got the technology to see them. They're invisible. They're echoes of former selves. Come on, any other creatures? Um, I don't want to just jo go off on a jolly when there's ten creatures to be found in this system. Let's have a little look around. Let's just head on over this hill. Let's just see if there's any other creatures that can be scanned, located. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's one. What are you? Scan that. Hmm. No, okay. Well, right, we'll head on over this hill. We'll have a look, see if there's anything else worth scanning. But I think I just saw shadows of birds. Have I scanned them? Yeah, I've already scanned those. Righto, people. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna carry on scanning, and if anything of interest pops up, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, chums, I can't put down a base computer near here, so I'm just gonna jump in my ship. We're gonna fly somewhere on this same planet and um, hopefully put down a base computer and then build one of those hollow projectors. So I'll see you when I can find a place where I can build a base. Okay, people, well, I'm just going to land here. I'm going to put a base here. Hopefully I can put a base here. Let's give it a go. Let's try building one of those hollow projectors now. I've got the blueprint. This will be the first time I've used one. Stick that there. Lovely jubbly. Claim base. Sweet. Zoom. Chickapa! Looks like there's something over there as well. I don't know what that is. Hmm, oddities. Righto, done, claimed. And now let's put in the Wonders projector. There it is. Stick that there. Missing components. Well, if you go into wire mode, so if you press triangle, and then if you press triangle and place at the same time, pow. Sometimes you can put them in. There you go. I've got one. Sweet. We've built a Wonders Projector. Okay. How do I use said Wonders Projector? I wanted to learn how to use the dang thing. Select a new wonder. And I've got my planet that I managed to select. There you go. Boom. I've just got a planet. That's pretty darn sweet, actually, isn't it? Can I walk through it? Yes, I can. Very cool. All right. Well, there you go. I'm probably not going to upload that or anything, this base. But there you go. That's all of phase two done. Claim decoded that. Oh, we've got all the drives that we need now as well, people. Sweet. Okay. And let's go into here. Pop that. What's that going to give us? Phase two complete. Ooh, we're going to get some posters. Swanky. Nice. Look yours. Lovely jobs. They're going to show you those posters in the top right corner. 
planetary charts. There we are. We're getting all that sort of shenanigans. There's the posters. They look pretty darn nice. So we've got those for the bases. Heck yes, people. So there we are. That's pretty much that done. So that's just that's only phase two, though. That's phase two done. And uh, this one is taking far longer than other expeditions have taken me. That's for sure, people inside the viewerverse. Hope you're enjoying this. And if you are, you know what to do. Hit all those buttons. And I'll see you for phase three. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.